Off the coast of Larnica, a group of teenage cadets dive down on the wreck of the Zenobia, a Swedish ferry which sank here on her maiden voyage in 1980. It's now ranked the fifth best wreck in the world, and for these students, the finale of what they've called Exercise Sandy Etonian. I've done absolutely no diving beforehand. Um, I'm a complete beginner. Never been in a swimming pool in a confined area, so yeah, it was, it was certainly a tiny bit daunting at first, especially not going to the swimming pool immediately. But no, it's definitely been a great experience. And um, it's good that it's intense because um, it's, it's compact, it's sure and it starts to speak, so it's good. 18 cadets visited Cyprus. After five days of infantry training, they spent their second week completing an open water diving course, aimed at bringing even the most novice students up to scratch and ready to dive the 18 metres down to the Zenobia. Yeah, well, no, it's great coming out here because at school we only have one training session a week for about an hour on a Monday. So we come out here for nearly two weeks and we can pack in so much comparatively. We can do weeks and weeks and weeks of training, which can just broaden our horizons and we just get so much more experience working with actual corporals from the army. I mean, it's a great opportunity. They're a great bunch of lads. We've really enjoyed our time with them. Um, the best thing is when, you, when we have people for such a short amount of time, it is so intensive, so everyone is really, really tired. Uh, but on the plus side, we get to become really, really good friends with all of our students, so that makes our lives a lot more enjoyable as well. It's really, really fun. We can have a really good laugh with them. Um, and, and everyone has a good time then, not just them, but us as well. The annual trip is the culmination of four months planning, with the cadets hosted in Decalia by the 2nd Battalion, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. You know, they've, they've had about two years of training in a week here because they get an hour on a Monday. We, have, we just haven't stopped. It's been full on for them. And they have reacted very, very well to it. And, and once this finishes, they think it, it, it's not over. They're all taking their mock GCSEs on Friday here up at the Education Corps. So I have to take their scripts back to school having done it. For these teenagers, this has been a chance to experience a two-week taste of military life, a mix of infantry skills and adventure training they'll remember for a long time to come. Simon Newton, Forces News, Decalia.